What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, welcome, welcome to newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, sorry, sorry, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. So I apologize. Um, this is an oracle card reading for the sign of Cancer. This can resonate if you have Cancer for in, in, in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North, no men, Haven, or Jupiter charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general oracle card reading for sign of cancer. Um, this is for mid June of 2022. It's 6-7-2022. So I'm trying to get an early start, or I am getting an early start, rather, on all the sign readings because um, I'll get a lot of futuristic channelings recently. Um, so I like to get them out before the time or I'm gonna I'm gonna try to really try to give out what time so you guys can catch them before they resonate so um if they do end up resonating for you so you can look forward not either look forward or look out for them um because you know sometimes they're positive sometimes they're negative so um that's my game plan here oh lord I think somebody's very emotional over you or you're emotional over somebody else or you're dealing with somebody with addictions or you have addictions because cards just went everywhere. So um, you plug it in, how that resonates, Cancer. Um, just saying, just saying. All right. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at uh, 13,030 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support. It helps support a single mama, one of her businesses, income streams. So thanks so much uh, for all the love and support to the channel. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's Hyper Sister 05. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Um, it's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, love you guys so much. Um, just want to say that too. And that's it. It's free general collective reading. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific situation in um, life. So only you know. Um, how to plug these in and off, okay? Um, and these are psychic intuitive messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. All right, so I did receive um, one channeling as I was meditating on your energy for mid-June of 2022, Cancer, and I heard it's a good one. It's a good one. Forces was pretty damn heavy, but this is a good message. Of course, we're just starting off, but I heard about to speak up very publicly um, and very loud and proud. And speak on a very important situation in the past you never thought you would. That's what I heard. So um, about to speak up very publicly, loud and proud, on a situation you never thought you would of the past. And I feel that's you about to do this because I heard you. So and we're in Cancer's reading, so I think it's you, um, Cancer. Um, and I felt like when I heard it, um, the ch psychic channeling. It was strong energy. It was strong. Um, I'm about to break the blackmail, for one. I brought, oh, shit. I heard about to break the blackmail, for one. Okay, so one of you guys is about to, so one of you guys has been blackmailed. You've been blackmailed. You've been blackmailed. Um, and one of you guys is about to break the blackmail. So that would make sense. Okay, so one, you've been blackmailed, and that's why you haven't spoke up. But it's a very, very, very serious situation in the past. I think you know it's going to affect someone, some people, or a group, um, either in a positive or negative way. Um, and that's why you've been blackmailed. Wow. Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. Chain, uh, chain of events that will affect your life. Temptation will test you. So on the road to success of speaking up very publicly. Um, now, I feel this can be official reporting energy or social media energy or... 3D world energy, like in your community and your world, um, like in public or public or publicly like social media or official reporting energy, if it calls for that. Um, however, that resonates in one's life. You are on the road to success, so I feel it's going to be successful and it's going to create chain of events, series of chain of events. Um, I heard thunder confirmation. Thunder confirmation. Just saying, just saying. Um, so, one of you guys has been blackmailed. So, I think somebody might tempt you. They might try to shut you up. They might try to silence you. They don't want you to speak out on this. Whoever this is, they don't want you to speak out. 
Most certainly do not want you to speak out, but it would not be smart to take the bait. Know this. Do not want you to speak out, but do uh, it would not be smart to take the bait. Take the bait. So that's the temptation energy. So whoever you are, somebody really does not want you to speak out publicly, whether it's an official report, social media energy, or 3D community, public, and world energy, or one or all of those things. I heard the spiritual download, it would not be smart to take the bait. Somebody's going to try to basically shut you up with money. I think they're going to try to shut you up with money or gifts or maybe sex for some or whatever entices you, I guess. Whatever entices you, they're going to try to tempt you with it. Taking the bait. I heard it would not be smart. So that's at least for one of you. Spirit messages you have like this. The dart. The series of chain of events you're about to create for someone, for some, two plus people, for some a group. It's going to land them in jail and serious legal issues. Know this, but you know they deserve it. Very much deserve it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so the ser so you speaking up on this is about to land either one person in jail, two, per two people in jail, or two plus people in jail. But I heard you know they deserve it. So, and it's obviously pretty big if you've been blackmailed in the past and you're getting tempted with something you really freaking want or they think you want to shut you up. I mean, it's that big. But I heard it wouldn't be smart to take the bait, basically. And you know these series of chain events of you speaking very publicly, speaking up and publicly on it, um, is going to basically land either one person in jail, two people in jail, or two plus people in jail for some a group in jail, but you know they deserve it. So they shouldn't have blackmailed you. Somebody thinks they have you under your their little thumb, um, or for some they did have you under their little thumb. Nay, nay, said the little ran in. Oh, Lord. Heavy earth sign energy. Heavy Virgo. Heavy Taurus. Heavy earth sign energy, heavy Virgo, heavy Taurus is what I heard. So heavy earth sign energy with Virgo and Taurus specifically. Because you know earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But heavy Taurus, heavy Virgo. So I feel for some of you guys, a Virgo was blackmailing you. Or for some, they could be trying to entrap you with money or blackmail energy or sex or something. Oh, God. For some... um. A Taurus. They could have Virgo or Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. We have Rabbit, which is sexual energy. The Dark. Spirit messages you have right here. Camel. Heavy earth sign energy. I Well, I heard that before the animal spirit cards came out. This, con this confirms it. Heavy earth sign energy, heavy Virgo and Taurus. Uh, maybe for some it's Capricorns, blackmailing you, trying to tempt you, blah, blah, blah. For some, I think it's sex related. For some, I think it's prostitution. And I didn't hear that in here, but I feel it is. I think for some, you're in some kind of escort service or prostitution ring and a earth sign, it's earth sign pimp. Or maybe it's your earth sign boyfriend or uh, fiance or live in or. Um, spouse and they're pimping you out or you bring in the money by prostituting um i didn't hear that i just kind of feel that for some of you guys because i've been pulling in a lot of water sign prostitutes pregnant um but you plug it in how it resonates um i'm not no judgments here no judgments i just feel it might be prostitution for some for some it might be something else um but just Remember this, you guys. Pimp S type energies, I don't care what sign they are. They're very selfish and greedy. They only think of themselves, period, point blank, bar none. They're not thinking of you. I think you're the attractive one. You're the one that bring in the business. You're the one that put it on, put it, puts it on them sexually. It ain't these people. 
but yet they're trying to control you. If it is sex related, for some, it's some very serious situation of the past, whatever the hell it is, okay? You plug in and how it resonates. It's better to break the, uh, break the chains, break free, and get the hell out of the toxic situation. I just feel somebody might need to hear that, and I'm serious about that, okay? It's for at least one out there, I feel. But you're definitely dealing with earth sign energy. It was spiritual downloads and the cards. These are both earth sign energies, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Oh, my Lord. Let's get a kipper. And air sign energy. And air sign energy. So heavy Taurus, heavy Virgo, maybe some Capricorn in here, and Gemini Libra Aquarius. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have to plug it. Lovers. Number 15 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 15, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 15, rabbit. Someone's about to break free. Someone's about to go to the feds. Someone's about to go to the police. Some have already have. Someone's about to break free. So I feel it's you, Cancer, or it could be somebody you're connected to. But somebody's about to break free. Um, for some, I feel you might have already had. Breaking free by going to the police, going to the feds, or um, what was the other one? Police, feds, and there was another one? There was another one. You'll have to go back and check it. Police, feds, and something else. Um, but And for some, you already have. So, I feel for some, you might have been prostitutes in the past. Or you knew of a prostitution ring. Or something like that. I mean, I'm serious. Rabbit. Or you pervade services of a prostitution ring. Oh, that resonates. A cancer is about to help break up a very significant community pedophile ring through many series of chain of events. Wow, that's a great one. I heard a cancer is about to help break up a very serious pedophile ring, a uh, community pedophile ring. So it's not an online dark web ring. It's a community pedophile ring. So it's in this cancer's community, I'm feeling, or somebody's community. However, this resonates for you, cancer. Um, hero, sir, or ma'am, um, because that, that takes, um, that's wonderful. That's wonderful energy to um, get your kahunas up and do this shit. And I'm just being for real. My hat's off to you, sir, ma'am. Just saying. Um, yeah. Um, you're about to help break up. Now, for some, you might have already went to the police with evidence of this ch uh, child pedophile community pedophile ring. For some, you might. Um, you might go soon. Um, but it sounds like the series of chain of events, whether you've already went with evidence or you're about to, is about to help break up the child pedophile ring. No, a dirty cop Taurus and a dirty cop Libra, they're about to have very severe consequences. Very. No, a dirty cop Taurus and a dirty cop Libra. They're about to have very severe consequences. Very. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, there. Taurus. Um, I'm not Taurus. Not Taurus. Oh, you might be dealing with the Taurus. Well, you are dealing with Taurus. Heavy. Um, cancer. Um, so there's a dirty cop Libra and a dirty cop Taurus involved in some kind of child sex pedophile ring community pedophile ring so in their community not online dark web energy but you creating these series of chain of events or you've already created these series of chain of events is about to help break up the child pedophile ring in the community which this is a child pedophile ring energy um this is it rabbits are indicative of sexual energy 
um, doing it like a rabbit is no fun when the rabbit has a gun, that kind of energy. Um, in this instance, it's creepy pedo energy. These dirty cops, I think they might run this child pedophile um, community pedophile ring, or they help manage it, or they purvey services of it. That's just some pretty sick shit. And they should, um, they need to be exposed publicly and their ass behind bars and go to prison and be publicly exposed for being a pedo. Um, I don't care if they're a cop or not. That's the damn truth. That's sick shit. They should be stripped of their badge, stripped of their uniform, and put in a damn jail cell. Camel? A binding spell a Virgo placed on a Cancer is about to seriously backfire. For some, a Libra placed on a Cancer. For some, a Taurus placed on a Cancer. It's about to seriously, energetically boomerang back on these people. They're about to regret the day they ever did this to you. Wow, strong, beautiful energy, Cancer. Whoever you are, you're pulling in strong Virgo, uh, Taurus, and Libra energy. It could be masculine or femme, Virgo, Taurus, or Libra. They could have Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, or Libra, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Roth, and Midheaven, Jupiter, charts. But however that resonates, um, it's either a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Libra. For some, it could be one or two or two plus of these people that put binding spells on you. Um, they obviously practice in dark arts on the dark side um, and black magic. And that's just the truth for real, for real. But I heard they're about to regret the, the, the day they ever placed the binding spell on you it's because it's about to basically i think you're getting higher in the spiritual realm or you're high in the spiritual realm i think you've done a lot of healing growth and shadow work on yourself and you like i have and you've gotten high in the spiritual realm or you're getting high in the spiritual realm so it's automatically returning the sender um i don't think you're doing dark arts back to them or at least god i hope not only you know your story now anybody else but i feel for a majority of you guys you're not doing dark arts back to them um, you're just returning to sender and keeping growing, healing, and manifesting yourself. So it's automatically returning back to sender. It's boom energetically boomeranging back. Heard they're about to regret the day they ever put the binding spell on you. Um, so something is about to happen to them. To them. I think physically or mentally or um, maybe out in the 3D. Hopefully it's jail for these assholes. Um, sounds like they deserve it um, for some. Um, to where the binding spell is about to backfire. I feel for some it's going to be jail because they wanted you binded to them. Well, the biggest binding of it all, the biggest binding of it all is freaking jail and prison. And that's just the damn truth. That's the biggest 3D binding there is. So I hope the way it energetically boomerangs back is their ass ending up in jail. And I hope, really hope it's the dirty cops because we have a dirty cop Libra in here and a dirty cop Taurus, very heavy. Sicko pedos, and that's just the damn truth. Mountain Road, you're on the road to success. Exposure of these people coming soon. Some already exposed them, and a Gemini. Exposure of these people coming soon. And for some, you've already exposed them. So for some, I believe you've already went to the police or the feds or whatever the third one was. Um, for some, you're about to. For some, you're about to move the hell away. Quick and far. For some, you're about to move the hell away quick and far. So you're about to move. The, maybe for some, you contemplated moving in the past, but you couldn't because they were restraining your money. Or like for some, I feel their pants. And I'm just being for real. For some, I feel their pants. And so they are controlling your money or controlling your living situation or controlling something. Um, they were controlling your life in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's money, your living situation, or something. But you're about to move the hell away. I think you're just about to take a risk. Um, or you've saved up money to plan this, like premeditated planning this, um, and you're about to fly the coop, baby. I don't blame you. Um, these are some serious assholes. 
masculine or feminine. I'm just being real. So, but you have, the, you're on the road to success. So I think this is a good idea because whoever these people are, they're very controlling. They're very abusive. Um, series of chain events that will affect your life. I think this is going to affect your life in a positive way. I think, you know, mentally, whoever you are, cancer, you need to get out, get the hell out of there. Um, I feel for some, you might live with these people. Because I heard for some, you're about to basically just break free. I think for some, you physically live with these people. And I'm serious about that. I'm so serious. Um, that's abuse, you guys. It's abuse. If somebody, there's many forms of abuse. Mental, physical. Uh, mental, physical, spiritual, which is um, dark arts. Um, or spiritual attacks. Um, financial and uh, sexual. For some, it could have been sexual abuse. For some, they could have sexually abused you. And I'm just being for real. There's abuse in here, and there is. Chain of events that will affect your life. An alcoholic Virgo is about to regret their life choices through many series of shame events. Very abusive person. Very. An alcoholic Virgo is about to regret their life choices through many series of shame events. Very abusive person. I was feeling abuse in here. I really was. Um, I think you're about to help expose their ass is what i think i think for some cancers you are their live-in or you are their prostitute or you are their girlfriend or boyfriend or you are their fiance or you are their legally married spouse how that resonates cancer or for some you could be a family member or a neighbor or something um but i think they think they have a hold on you is what i'm trying to say um and that so they thought they were gonna test you i mean tempt you back basically lure you back but i heard it's not going to work for some for some it may for some it may not but series of chain of events going to affect your life i think is for some you're about to move the hell away like you're about to pack up i feel all your shit and you're about to go um money or not is what i'm feeling um you plug it in how it resonates you guys if i was living with an abusive person i would do the same exact shit that's why i choose to live by my damn self and that's just the truth um i've been living by my damn self for a long time but i've done it for strategic reasons because i don't want no abusive asshole around me i want good times happy times and a lot of fun sex um and money and wealth not abuse you know and i feel you guys probably want the same exact thing you know, and I wish that for everybody, but you have to take positive steps in your life to make it happen. A very significant uh, visit to police is about to, about to really, really come into fruition. Many series of chain events are about to happen fast, 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 fast. A very significant. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So this is already a visit to the police. So one of you guys has already visited the police, it sounds like, is what I'm feeling. I'm pulling your energy in. Very strong, Cancer. I feel this is you that has went to the police. Um, one of you guys is being abused. And for some, you know somebody else that's being abused. One person or two plus people. For some, it's kids being abused. Um, and I'm serious. But you're some, you're about to stand up to this. For some, you already have. For some, you already went to the police and made a police report or a police statement or visited with investigators or what have you but however that resonates i heard that's about to turn into fruition soon um it's about to start moving quickly so something is about to happen i think maybe the busting up of this child community pedophile ring or some kind of abuse situation or maybe the dirty cops get their turn in jail where they really fucking deserve it Apple temptation will test you.
one person you will be you will, they will try to pay you off this would not be smart okay i heard one person you they will try to pay you off this will not be smart so temptation will test you um I'm trying to pay you off, I think not going to police or federal agents or revealing the information very publicly on social media or your community. Um, they're going to try to pay you off. Um, I heard it wouldn't be smart. Of course, you have free will and you can choose to do that if you want to do it. I sure as hell wouldn't do it, but you have free will to do so. Now, the dark, this is the dark arts they were putting on your ass. Sex magic, binding spells. I mean, I didn't hear sex magic in here, but it don't take no genius to figure out there was sex magic going on here. We have child pedophile rings. We have possible prostitution. We have abuse. There was, I feel, definite sex magic here. If it wasn't on you, it was on some kids. Binding spells on kids. Binding spell I heard on you. I mean, this is sick shit. This is sick. This is sick. A, a significant cancer is about to reveal significant dark arts information. Very significant dark arts information, some to federal agents, some to police. It's about to really, really help and make movement go a lot quicker in investigation. Okay, see, some of you guys are about to really stand up. Some of you guys are about to move. Some of you guys are about to move out of physical homes with abusive people. Some you're about to physically move physical locations, I'm feeling. For some, you're about to, some you've already contacted police or feds or already done social media or community exposure. For some, you're about to. Um, you're, you are about to be the game changer here. You're about to be the power play mover. You're about to be the game changer. You're about to create the series of chain of events. You are about to be you're not fixed energy because we all know that leo side i mean not leo side leo uh taurus um leo taurus aquarius and um oh lord scorpio they're fixed but you're about to take on fixed sign energy with the power play mover energy um you are a beautiful sign but it doesn't mean everybody exhibits all signs energy from time to time it's how you transmute it and manifest it you're about to transmute and manifest it in a fixed sign kind of way you're about to make a huge power play decision and you're about to go forth with it, basically. Period, point blank, bar none, whoever you are. Um, which I love that. I'm all about huge, powerful power play moves in a very positive, focused way. I'm very proud of you, whoever this is for. One cancer is about to turn in stolen money to the police. One cancer is about to turn in stolen money to the police. One already has. One already has. So one cancer has already turned in stolen money to the police, and one of you guys has. Oh, I mean, sorry. One of you have already turned in stolen money to the police. One you're about to. So that's that's positive, too. Um, way to make positive, healthy, copacetic moves in your life there, sir, ma'am. Um, this really looks pretty damn good. I'm serious. It's probably the best one I've done so far for mid-June. It's a lot of you cancer about to take action to help like in a positive communal positive healthy copacetic way you're about to help break up creepy kid pedophile community pedophile rings possibly a prostitution ring abuse of you or somebody you're connected to um information on dark arts to um for a huge investigation that's about to make it speed up very quickly i mean holy shit the dark here is dark arts um, information. I feel it's about to be evidence. Um, strong evidence here. Strong. Strong evidence here. Strong. Oh, my God. So, I don't know what kind of evidence it is, Cancer. I don't hang around COVID energy. But I feel for one of you guys, used to, you're either in a COVID now, or you used to be, um, or you're connected to somebody in a COVID. And I'm just being for real. Could be those low vibrational ass masons I've been pulling in, possibly for some. For some, it could be somebody else. But however that resonates, you have some strong ass evidence on some um, COVID S type activity. One of you guys about to, about to deliver it. I heard it's going to make the investigation speed up quickly. So 
I don't know what it is. You, I mean, only you know, not me. I don't know if it's um, text messages, group chats, screenshots, emails, um, sticky notes. Um, I don't know. Whatever it is, and you're about to provide it, it's about to help speed up this investigation. On, I feel a like coping. I feel a like coping is exactly what I feel. I didn't hear specifically what it's on, um, but I'm feeling coping energy because it's dark arts evidence. And you are on the road to success with the dark. With providing the dark arts evidence. That's beautiful, man. The lovers. One cancer is about to get out and never look back. And they will meet the love of their life. Know this. Okay, I heard one cancer is about to get out and never look back. And whoever you are, Cancer, I heard you will meet the love of your life. That's really beautiful. Um, that's beautiful. It really is. Hopefully it's your um, your twin or just a soulmate. You know, it doesn't have to be your twin. Um, but I believe in true love. I believe in true love and caring. Um, and that's really beautiful, whoever you are. So the lovers and chain of events, it's, um, I think you're, you haven't got out yet. I think you might live with these crazy assholes or in a coven with them or in a neighborhood with them and they feel they can control your every little move. Um, however, that resonates for some, it might be your uh, family unit. But I feel you're about to move far is what I'm trying to say. I don't feel you're about to move five minutes down the street. I feel you're about to pick a location and about to damn go. Um, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Lovers with this uh, chain of events. Um, so you're about to create a series of chain of events for yourself to get out of this very toxic, abusive environment and city. And then through a series of chain of events, you're going to meet the love of your life, the lover's energy. Now, I think you will have temptation. I think you will have karmics that will try to come after you um, through this process. But, you know, and I know it's no fun to be poor. I know, I know it's not. Trust me. Trust me, I know. Trust me. But it's better to be poor than be tempted with money or sex or shiny objects by karmics. If anybody needs to hear that, okay? I feel somebody might need to. Because eventually you're going to meet the love of your life. But you you know, you don't want to be kissing frogs on the way or getting in back in the middle of blackmail and black magic shit and possible pimps and dirty cops and child community pedophile rings and things like that. Um, I'm sure you don't, you know. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. About to transmute a clap back. About to transmute a clap back is what I just heard. Oh man, that's a I like that energy. About to transmute a clap back, baby. Whoever you, this is for. So um transmuting a clap okay, a clap back for anybody who doesn't know is basically um somebody's gonna try to come at you. They're gonna try to come at you. I don't think physically, like physically clapping, no. They're gonna try to pop off of the mouth with you basically. Um, but you're going to transmute the energy. So it's a verbal clap. It's verbal. Clap back is verbal. So you're going to try to pop off the mouth at you, basically. If anybody don't know that. So you're going to transmute the clap back. So you're going to transmute it verbally back to them, but in a positive, healthy, copacetic manner. I think you're going to make them eat their words, baby. But in a very healthy way. Oh, man, I love it. Okay. We're done. <laughs> love you guys. Namaste. I hope this helped, and if you think anyone else uh, would like my videos, please feel free to share my videos very publicly and word of mouth or social media. It helps support a single mom, I'm just saying. Love you guys. Namaste.